Tak be, do bohu. bothering that for a couple of minutes I think, haven't it? Look at the rig! Hey! Yeah. Look at that! Two minutes right now, oh it's hooked on the fucking little thing. Look at that! Yeah, that's my 12 pound one of trace. Got a mouthful. Come here, little fuck. Tight clap. <coughs> Do you want to talk us through your rig, would it? What's that, sorry? Let's talk us through your noddy rig. It's a fantastic rig. Look at that. Looks a treat. <laughs> you know. Look at that. Four pounder, but it's not a pitch. Yeah, sadly. Oh, three pound even. I can't believe it were up on um, mono. Shh, uh, we've been doing a bit of uh, live baiting in between uh, flooded rivers. So uh, we just thought I'd have a bit of a change so we could catch some perch on live bait. So uh, here's Woody with uh, the rig that he's been using. Yeah, we've been using this rig now. For, well, I've been using it for quite some time. Um, I've just educated Paul in <laughs> using something like this. Um, now, I mean, it's simplicity in itself. 30 pound braid, quite a soft rod now. We're using quite soft rods um, due to the fact we're after perch rather than pike. Obviously, pike do come along. We've just put one back on this rig. So I thought we'd get rig out and just uh, run it through here. So it's simplicity in itself, you've got a stop knot, you've got a bead, a small float, um, these are about as small as you're going to go on, on small bobber floats, and then rather than using a uh, split shot directly onto the line, what we've done, we've left a tag end on knot, so that we've attached all the shot onto there, which keeps it down, it keeps it loose, not only that, but it lets it spin around rather than a tangling round line, onto normal cross link, onto quite a long trace, which I always prefer when I'm live baiting, and then what we've done, we've got a, a rattle, which is a catfish rattle. Now I've been using these for quite a few years now for live baits, and it definitely makes a difference to me. I've seen, I've, I've fished with Paul and Paul, Paul will tell you it's um, uh, we've been fishing together quite a while on these live baits, and and this float, this rod, just goes over and over again. So it's just a little a little uh, ball bearing inside a plastic cup. It's fasten it both together, and it just gives you a little tiny rattle. It might not sound much here, but when a fish is panicking underwater. You'll, it'll send out vibrations more than a standard fish would. Then we've got a size 4 owner hook, which I always use. I use this for all, all my bait fishing, all my live bait fishing. And then what I've done, I've whipped on um, a small carp hook. Now, reason for this is that what we're doing is we're using quite small baits. So rather than doing damage to baits with the large hooks, we're just literally hooking them through the tail with this hook. Now what this does, it lets a bit, it lets a bait move freely and it keeps it away from hook. Now obviously if we're using, if we're trying to catch big perch, which is what we're after today, and obviously if pike come along, it's, it's a way, actually away from that hook. So what we do is obviously we can, it's almost an instant strike rig. If it's a pike, it's hooked automatically because it generally grabs it around there. Or it'll grab it around head, around here. So it'll just have it in its lips. And nine times out of 10, everyone we've been hooking have been hooked right in corner at scissors. So it's a perfect rig. It's working really, really well. And uh, it's also named the Woody's Rattle Rig. It's a catcher. It's patented as well. Nice fish. Big one, mate. Yeah, look at you. Look at that. Is that a super big? What's that rig? Is that Paul? It's a. Um, is it? Is, is that it? the Woody um, Woody Wobbler? Woody Wobbler. <laughs> Yes, 
been perfect, hasn't it? Bike is it? Good. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to just crack it out a little bit, isn't it? I think it's massive. Okay. That's the job we want to get, isn't it? <laughs> Rain can't the scissors. Step on it. Oh. Going for it. Oh. A little jack. Yeah. Angle fella. Put under a float. Yeah. No, me, mate. <laughs> Don't be too big. Only floats not big enough to take them. Alright. Yeah. Give me a job, Rob. Yeah. Could you play this well? I enjoyed play playing your fish. Straight one. Come on, fish. I should have bite. Oh, I was going to just flick it out. <laughs> That's a defiance. I'd like that. Uh. Five. Oh. Nowhere that one, didn't it? Yeah. It's sat under there all day. I want to be sat under there all the time quick. Come on. Nice fish. Nice fish. Start it out, I don't know. <laughs> 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 yeah. Nice fish. But it's just up right in the corner. Look yeah. at that. Ooh, it's a big fish. Kike. Oh, well, Die, Kike. Back off. You're not right with me. Yeah. I'll get it in, I'll chin it. Literally just up that. Yep. Once I know it's ready, I'll get it. Nice fish, that mate. What did you get on? Cut the clothes. Tiny perch. Tiny perch, live bait, off the perch. I think it's a warm night. Nice fish. Good ball, isn't it? There's only one knock. Just put that one there. Just put it in. Put that on. Right, back off. Back off. Go. Nice fat fish. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Just turn his tail to me a little bit, mate. Bingo. Nice 
Yeah, yeah. I bet can't we? I mean, I'll look out. Something that is. Mint. That is awesome. Straight from Nazca's back, fat, fat as a pig. Yeah. Nice fish. Uh, I got you a big live bit. Your rod went. Fucking beauty. Nice fish. Nice fish. Seconds. Yep. Seconds in right place. That's the nice fish that mate's pushing. Pushing Iger boys that and they'll be there, you never know. Don't Might even be there, mate, that. Yeah. I can't believe that. Seconds in right place. Hooks have come out in there as well. Did you? Nope. To get the match mainly. Yeah. Um thought we were chasing perch, would we? <laughs> You're referring to involved. Ten seconds. Yeah, nice fish. Do I break back now? Yeah. Crazy, isn't it? And big baits sorting them out out there. Yeah. I think you find it both. Oh, it's right place. Nice fish, mate. Yeah. 15, 16, that, innit? Yeah, you Nice one, Cocker. Yeah, it's nice, Bob. Got a bit of a funny area, is not it? Yeah. The perching one going to plan, won't it, so? No. Sometimes you've got to just uh, make the change, haven't you? We've moved in three fish and three. Three baits? Yeah, literally. And each one going within less than 30, 40 seconds. Yeah. It's right place, right time, and yeah, sometimes it's yeah. beautiful. It's a bit of an ugly bugger, but. Yeah, it's a bit of an ugly one, but uh, so it's captor. I'll tell you what, if I've been catching them all day, I won't be right bothered to you. No, no. We are fighting. Tell you what, kid, these fish could be much, much bigger. Yeah. That's a nice fish. Nice fish, Pom. Yeah. Another dub? No, the double. Definitely. 
and a tip for you if you're, if you're taking uh, pictures to get your things out of the way. It's a little bigger, exactly, if you want to do that. <laughs> nice fish pond. So you're a fishing umbrella? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is a fishing umbrella. What is fishing umbrella? That is <laughs> sponsored by. <laughs> yeah, but wooden bed. Yeah, so. <laughs> sponsored by. I'm, I'm now I'm older, so I'm a wooden bed. <laughs>